Hello, my name is Craig Palmer of Bluefish Communications. I'm joined today by Dee Montvias. Hello, Dee. Um, Dee is one of our senior contact centre consultants. Um, Dee, um, thank you for joining us today. I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about Bluefish and Bluefish in relation to what we do around contact centres. Sure. Um, so I think th the first thing to say is that I think Bluefish offer a very different proposition um, within the professional services space. Um, our, the core or the centre of our proposition is around helping customers to understand the customer journey. So it's really understanding the, the, the touch points and the customer interaction um, that occurs as part of a transaction between a customer uh, and the business it's interfacing with. So what Bluefish look to do is to understand the, the technology that enables that. They look to understand the business operating model that supports that. Um, and we look to bring our you know, experience and, and market intelligence as well uh, to the table to enable us to, to provide a really uh, more meaningful engagement. And I, I guess contact centres and customer service have been around for a while now. What's the current state of the market and the, I guess the challenges that customers are facing out there? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think there's two significant areas of challenge. Um, I think the first one is around digital. Um, and the proliferation of digital within, uh, you know, customers within the B two C marketplace, mm -hmm. um, even within the business to business marketplace as well. So digital, um, the growth of digital, um, the fact that businesses are now looking to keep pace with a market or, or, or an area of the industry that's that's growing phenomenally. So that's device, that's contact strategy, that's customer strategy, customer interaction, all of those good things. So I think certainly digital. The other challenge is around Net Promoter School. Um, so this is really customer satisfaction and customer advocacy. Uh, and this is where businesses realise in order to differentiate within a, a commoditised marketplace, um, they've got a responsibility to deliver world-class customer service and customer experience and therefore being able to post uh, a good customer satisfaction score as part of their you know, half year and, and year end stats means that you know, customers are, are attracted to that score and will therefore are likely to do more business. And I guess net, net promoter score is, is relatively new in the contact centre world. How, how are you seeing that sort of impact the organisations that you deal with? Yes, um, uh, it's, it's a, it has a huge impact. Um, and net promoter score, or NPS as it's referred to within the marketplace, uh, is measured from the board all the way down to the contact centre agent. Everybody's incentivised on, uh, on, on net promoter score. Uh, and so it's not only a, a satisfaction that, that customers uh, are measured by, it's also employee satisfaction as well. So, you know, an important measure these days, uh, certainly with the enterprises that we deal with, is, is how good are we as a business to work for? Um, and in a lot of instances, to be able to post and publish those stats means that you attract the best talent, the best people, and therefore you can differentiate and, and transfer that experience to your customer base. Okay. And I guess Bluefish is experienced in this space, a little bit of a, a few examples of um, where Bluefish have worked with clients, the, the sort of the, the outputs and the, the benefits that clients have seen. Sure. Um, uh, in, in terms of the, our consultants, I would say that we've got a great mix of, of talent. Um, we've also got some tremendous industry experience as well. Um, we work across many industry verticals and, and, uh, and within the last year, certainly, we've helped a uh, very big general insurance uh, market uh, leader to uh, to really sort of change their current existing their, their platform their operating model um, when they had a very uh, a, a kind of changeable period of time during their you know in terms of leadership and reorganization um, we've also helped banks in terms of their customer interaction strategy uh, their device strategy um, so all of those things have helped certainly within the last 12 to 18 months to to really get under the skin of, of businesses problems and I think they see bluefish as uh, really a kind of different player within that professional services market. Okay, and how do people engage with Bluefish? What's the best way of doing that? So I think the best place to, would be to look on our website. We've got a, uh, a services area, uh, and so if they want to interact uh, and get in touch, please look at the services area, and that's a, a great opportunity to get in, uh, get in touch with us. Thanks again for your time today, Dee, and giving us that insight into Bluefish's consultancy services. For more information on Bluefish and Bluefish's consultancy services, not just contact centre, but the wide portfolio that Bluefish offers, please visit our services page on the website.